Hello, Richard Greenberg back again at AppSec California 2017. Glorious day, blue skies, and I'm with one of my favorite people, Jim Manico. Welcome, Jim. How are you doing today, Richard? Good. Well, great to have you back. Great to be here. Jim's been at every AppSec? I've been at every AppSec California that has been put on, period. That's wonderful. And he brings a lot, because not only is he an excellent speaker, but he's one of the world's best trainers. So uh, we're really happy to have him here. So, but i got to ask you, Jim. Why is it you keep coming back? What is there about AppSec California that you like? You know, this is like my, my OWASP home, Richard, right? There's, there's not much of an OWASP uh, chapter activity in the Hawaiian Islands where I live. So. Oh, we bleed for him, don't we? So, so I, I come out to California, I talk or participate in California events as much as I can. This is like my home chapter, Richard. So that's why I come to AppSec California. This is... You know, I'm trying to limit my travel a bit and really be more judicious in picking which conferences I go to. This is number one on my list. Number one. Number one. Coming from a world traveler and is speaking all over the world, that is high praise. Thank you. You're very kind of you, Richard. So uh, what, what's your talk about, uh, AppSec? Uh, yesterday I gave a talk about Java 8 and Java 9 security enhancements. Real basic talk, just reviewing the different ways that the Java language is adding different security controls at various layers into the language. So an update on Java security, Richard. Great, and you also taught a class, what was that? I taught a class on secure software two days ago, right? We had about uh, 18 students who showed up to, to hear about how to build secure software in a variety of different ways. So. We had a real fun class. It was a very mellow class, right? We had a lot of good conversation. I go like one slide and I get 20 questions. So whenever we have a lot of interaction like that, it always makes me happy. I always think it's a, a good value to everyone when we have that interactivity. Did anyone stump you? You know, I, always, I, I get stumped once in a while. I encourage them to try to, but you know, I've been teaching a long time, so I, I'm a dare, I get stumped less over time, but you know, I always get stumped once in a while. You know, we're all, I'm a student and a teacher. Right? Yeah, I took one of Jim's classes and I studied up. I said, I'm going to get him. And I, I hit you with several questions and he answered them all without even a hesitation. One time he scratched his beard, but, but that was about it. Yeah, I think, uh, that's, 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 that's like pulling on the beard helps the brain blood flow, I think. I'm trying. Yeah, good. So you like the venue here? Oh, very much so. It's beautiful and sunny. You know, Richard, I brought the Hawaiian weather for you. I knew it was going to be a little challenging. We've had torrential rainstorms the last couple of days right up to Absent Cali and then sun for a few days. We're going to get rain again right when it's over. So we had that little Hawaiian weather pocket I brought for you, Richard. I appreciate it. We've been checking the Farmer's Almanac and we've been very lucky. So last question for you, Jim, before I know you want to get up to a session. It's about to start. What do you envision to be the big issues or, or some of the big issues for 2017 you'd like to share? So in the information security world, I think the number one issue, Richard, you ready? Let's, let's go right to number one. Let's not bother with number two or number three. Let's get right to number one. How does that sound? Number, number one issue is people, is hiring and retaining security professionals. Because there's such a limited supply, the need, I mean, you see the need for security professionals is exploding. And it, it's, it takes time to learn the skills and gain the experience needed to be a serious security professional. There's just not enough out there. It's going to take us years to catch up in that particular area. I think that's the biggest challenge that organizations face when it comes to information security excellence. And, and something that dovetails very nicely into that is the issue of diversity and trying to get more women into the field. And this is extremely important, right? When you build a team with a lot of diverse perspectives and diverse opinions, you get you get better problem solving and, and uh, innovation and lots of other positive things from working with diverse teams. So we need more of every every stripe there is of any kind to be part of our community. No question about it. Great. Well, it's time for us to head out and see some fantastic talks, but I want to thank you, Jim. Always a pleasure. Thank you for all your hard work, Richard, making AppSec California happen. Thank you very much. Right. Take care, everybody.